This is the Rising Goddess Podcast, and I'm your host, Michelle Torrance. This is a space where when we start diving deep, we're talking spiritual, mental, and physical. We're getting real and connecting with ourselves and others in the most intimate ways. We'll be talking all things sacred sexual, relationship building, womb healing, connection, and connecting with and through our bodies, how to use our sexual and sensual energies to create, manifest, and heal our lives in our individual and collective ancient feminine lines while intertwining our healing and connection with the divine masculine. We'll learn from amazing humans who take time and share their wisdom and sacred healing magic. Rising humans who are here in this world to be healers, teachers, guides, priestesses, warriors, shamans, and all divine sisters and brothers in rising. We'll get witchy, sassy, sexy, and saucy, talking all things that align us with our true nature and authentic selves, creating a community of divine feminine and masculine rising to be a massive part in this shift of world healing. So grab some green juice, light some cannabis, get your blankets, or sit by the fire. Let's rise up together. Catch you on the inside, dolls. Hello, hello, my beautiful rising humans, and welcome to this next episode of Rising Goddess Radio. Today, we are going to be talking about sexual alchemy, aka orgasmic manifestation, aka creating with the life force that runs through you and tapping into that energy. So as you know, if you have been following me for a while, I am a sexual alchemist. I help people actually tap into their sexual energy and release the shame and transmute that energy into orgasmic manifestation of the desires that they want. And there are so many different ways that this can be done. And um, there's so many different avenues, there's different coaches, there's different teachers, Features, there's different um, ways to do all this. And so today, what I wanted to share with you is just my perspective, my understanding, my growth, my awareness, how I teach my clients, what it is that um, I do, and how I utilize orgasmic manifestation as a, a tool for complete surrender and trust into the universe. And um, it's such an amazing experience. And so I'm curious out there, first of all, um, if you are new to me, welcome. If you have been following me for a while, welcome back. Um, And let me ask you, do you tap into your orgasmic energy for manifesting your desires? Is that something that you even know that is an opportunity or something that you can do? Are you aware of the magic that you as a woman especially um, can produce with your orgasms? This is something that has been hidden for many, 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 many years. This is something that has been controlled through the patriarchy, which is why we are starting to see the patriarchy come down now with all of this woman empowerment, the Me Too movement, the I Believe You movement, We Believe You movement, the um, you know uh, Believe Women movement, and um, she is rising. She has been rising for a while. I'm reading Rise, Sister Rise again with Rebecca from Rebecca Campbell. If you haven't read that book. I highly encourage you to do that. Rise, Sister Rise is a great book. And it really, really, really helps uh, explain and describe what's going on even now. I mean, in this book, um, my goal is to have Rebecca Campbell on the show. That's one of my main goals is, is having her on here. But this book was back in, I believe, what was it, 2013, 2000... 14 I'm looking here oh first edition 2016 so this was two years ago October 2016 so two years ago exactly and um you know it's really describing where we are at specifically right now you know in this um, day and age especially as she is rising and she is not only rising within women but she is rising within the men um, the healthy uh, 
healthy divine masculine energy is really shining through in their support of the rising of the divine feminine and the healthy um, feminine and really working through to dismantle the toxic masculinity that is the patriarchy. So um, I can go on and I'm actually going to do another episode of the patriarchy. This has actually just gotten me kind of fired up and triggered up to really talk about that in another episode. So I'll do that after this. But right now, this episode is really all about the magic of orgasm. And um, as women, you know, they're really... um, there is no biological need or productive need uh, in creating a child that requires the woman to orgasm. So the woman orgasms specifically, purely for pleasure. That is a gift that was given. That is part of being a woman. We get to orgasm specifically for pleasure. And because of that, that taps us into a completely higher vibrational field than even that of the ma- the male that is able to orgasm. Well, although males can do wonderful orgasmic meditation and manifestation. And I know um, uh, we actually had Axel on the show talking about um all of this. So you can definitely uh, find him on Instagram, um, go listen to that episode. And, um, you know, males have the opportunity to do this. And so if you are a male, and you happen to catch this episode, I highly recommend you he- heading over to Axel's page and learning all about it. Um, but today, this particular episode is really all about the female um, orgasm and how um, truly the female orgasm was designed specifically to create magic. And um, we have had this truth hidden and stolen from us for a very long time. And it is coming to truth and realization now as we are rising up into the power that we are. And so so what is orgasmic manifestation? How come our orgasms and and that is our sexual energy is that our creative force? Well, first of all, the creative energy comes through the sexual experience, right? We create a child through sexual um, connection, sexual intercourse, right? We are creating um, a connection through a sexual experience with um, a, another person. Um, and so the sexual energy is the creative life force energy that runs through us. And the this is where I work with a lot of my clients. This is where a lot of women come to me because that the it's tied specifically through to your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is where you hold all of your desires. That is where you hold your sexual and your sensual energy. That is where it's near your womb. That is where, it, you know, where you're near your womb space. That is um, near your uterus. That is where all of that um, sexual and reproductive energy system is. Now, as a Scorpio, I rule the pelvic area. That is what my main area is. That is what my focus is. That is where my purpose is. And so it makes sense, obviously, which we've had this conversation before. It makes sense that this is what I teach, that this is how I help women rise up in their own independence and women empowerment in this world, in this time and space right now. So the, uh, but so, so this is where a lot of women have struggles is it's coming through their sacral chakra. So, and anything that has to do with sex as women instantly, just from the first story in the Bible of the first two people of Adam and Eve, because Eve decided to have that apple. She then is the, the temptress, the sinful woman, the, you know, the, the terrible, terrible reason um, as to why sex is bad. And um, that is a false story. It's a lie. It is not a truth. And we've had this ingrained and conditioned in us in so many different ways. And it's traveled out and been um, twisted and, and, and wringed out at like, you know, like when you're twisting and wringing out a wet towel, it has been twisted and wrung out in so many different ways. And we are, it's, 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 it's time to stop and it's time to awaken to the fact of the truth. And the truth is, is that our creative life force, the full energy that runs through us, that allows us to create the world that we are living in, to create the life that we are here to create is the base sexual energy that runs through us. Now, our sexual energy doesn't always necessarily mean sex. However, when you have hangups about your sexual identity, when you have um, shame around the sexual desires or sexual energy that runs through you, when you have shame 
around anything sexual or sensual within your body, then that hinders and blocks the creative life force, the sexual energy that runs through. Therefore, it limits and it blocks you from creating a life that you are truly here to create. And so how do we get past this, right? How do we start to work through this? Well, first of all, we do a lot of shadow work, right? This is where women come to me. This is what we do with my three-month intensive. We get seriously deep. So this is where we dive into a lot of the sexual shame. We go into past traumas. We do a lot of inner child work. We go back into um, some past lives. We do some tarot readings. We go through and, and we really dive, dive deep into what ha- is the base cause of the shame in this particular life because not only as women are we carrying this shame that we have been conditioned and taught and learned in this particular life time and space but we are also carrying the shame and the sin quote unquote um, from lifetimes from our mothers from our grandmothers from our great grandmothers and our great great grandmothers and our sisters and our aunts and all of these past women in our history for thousands thousands of years. So, you know, not only, like I said, are we dealing with our own personal shame, but we've got that that we're dealing with. And so that's why it's such an intense time right now, because not only are we tapping into our own personal empowerment, but we are tapping into that collective shame that is really, really starting to rise up within everybody. So, um, so first step is really start to dive in to your shadow work, really start to face some of your sexual energy. Now, if you have gone through some sexual trauma, some really deep, intense sexual trauma, you know, maybe working with, um, a a psychotherapist, um, in that fashion is, um, something that would work for you, you know, depending on the different levels of, of help that you need. There's no shame and no, uh, nothing wrong with working with therapists, psychotherapists, sexual therapists, sexual coaches, psycho mindset coaches, um, you know, uh, repatterning coaches. There is no shame in doing that because we came here to work together. We need to work together as a collective. That's how we rise up as a collective and really push through and pass into this new Aquarian age. You know, Um, this is really the time where, uh, we either, you know, walk the talk or we choose to keep our heads in the sand. And, um, I feel that many of you, especially if you are listening to this podcast, if you're following me, if you're in my community, um, you are not choosing to keep your head in the sand. You are choosing to rise up every single day. And that includes rising up through the truth, which can be scary. Sometimes the truth can be hurtful. The truth can be, um, dark, Um, but it's through that darkness that our light shines brighter because we are able to tap into that. So, um, so the first step of course is really diving into that shadow work and, um, working through that sexual shame. And as you work through that sexual shame, you'll really start to come across a lot of blocks that come in and we'll start to trigger and unravel and um, really go through a lot of forgiving processes. And this is where, of course, another thing that we do with my clients. And we do this a lot with my private energy connection sessions, whether we do some forgiveness work, um, we think about some rituals to do, but we do this a lot in my uh, Master the Rising Self Intensive as well. Um, And forgiveness rituals and cord cutting rituals and visualization techniques of healing. And it's amazing that the mind doesn't know um, whether it's real happening now or if it's in our head as a visualization, it doesn't know the difference. So if we have intense energy and emotional connections to the visualizations of these cord cutting techniques and these meditations and these rituals, then then it truly makes a significant ripple and shift within the, the uh, fabric of your particular universe and world that you are creating. So um, that's number two, right? So number one is really dive into some shadow work, really start going through that. And this could take a while. I mean, and as you start to go, you'll start to relieve some pressure, right? It's like a a pressure cooker. It'll start to open it a little bit, you'll relieve some stuff, and then you'll you'll feel a little bit of relief. And then you'll you'll dig in some more and you'll start to get more tension, get a bit more uncomfortable, start to go through that motion and go through the, the, the growth of the releasing, right? That's, that's where the that that work is coming in. And then, and 
then all that pressure is happening and ah, then you feel that release, right? And then it starts to go again and again. Um, and, and that is how it's going to happen. That's how growth happens. And, and that's not just with your sexual energy growth and with the shame release or anything like that, but that's how all growth happens is it happens in that pressure cooker phase, right? You get going and then you do it and you do it and it gets, it starts to get uncomfortable and it's uncomfortable. It's a code of the pressure's there. And then, ah, uh, that happens. And it's like this burst of this awareness, this clarity, this understanding, this knowing, this trust, this surrendering. Um, and so that's that first step. And then step number two, of course, is that ritual, the forgiving, the forgiveness ritual, forgiving of yourself, forgiveness of the event, forgiveness of the experience, forgiveness of the other person, forgiveness of the energy, forgiveness of whatever it is um, that happened in that experience and moment during that work. And then as you start to do that self-care, self-care is huge, right? Self-care is key. We talk about self-care a lot. Now, the two first two steps that you do are extreme self-care. Don't think that the work that you're doing, the journaling, the writing, the, the shadow work isn't self-care. That is the self-care that is making these changes within your inner world, which will be reflected in your outer world. But I'm talking also as well about the self-care of aligning and connecting, relaxing and, and, and caring for your body, right? Taking a shower with some essential oils that arouse the senses of calm and peace and grounding, giving yourself a hug, rubbing your arms, really giving yourself um, the love and the comfort um, that uh, your body and your soul and your mind need after that experience, after that growth, after that shed, after that release. And then you can really start to move into the actual practical practices of orgasmic manifestation. Um, because really, I'm going to tell you, while sexual energy and orgasmic manifestation um, and, and being uh, sexual healing versus sexual um, alignment or, or um, energy manifesting, there's a difference in that vibration. And um, if you try to have this amazing sexual experience while you are in this sexual healing phase, it's going to counter counteract whatever it is that you're doing. Because sometimes sex and orgasmic manifestation and orgasms and, ma and masturbating is not the answer. We can use that as a bypass just like anything else that we can use. And so understanding whether you are in a state of sexual healing or you are in a state of sexual alchemy. And there's a difference and you'll feel that difference. It's a vibrational shift. And as you start to become closer and closer aligned with who you are in the higher being and knowing of the self, you will start to really fully understand the difference and have discernment between the two. So as you start to practice, this is where um, <clears throat> you'll start to uh, do some of these practical exercises, especially when we work together in my in my master, um, the rising self intensive, that's the three month transformation quantum leap program um, for women. Um, but what we do is as we go through certain shame releases, we will have practical exercises that will be homework. Some of that includes masturbation techniques, um, creating a an experience through masturbation that is all about alignment. It's a spiritual ritual that is happening. Um, that is really one of the most um, shameful uh, energies and experiences that women come to me for because of all of the um, conditioning through religion, conditioning as the woman, conditioning as, you know, all of that, that it's just um, terrible when ultimately um, it is our body. It was given to us for a specific reason while it's our body to utilize to express source energy through. See, that is the, that's the gift of the free will that we have. While yes, the life that we have is lived through its source living through us, we still have the, op the option and the opportunity and the gift of having the human egoic mind. So we get the five senses, we get to have these experiences. And so discounting that is um, really discounting uh, the human experience that we're here to have. 
So we'll have masturbation techniques. Um, a, a wonderful techniques are using yoni eggs. Whether or not you use a yoni egg or not, it doesn't really matter. You can still really utilize this. You can utilize sexual toys or not. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, the whole point is really the focus of the energy, the experience that you are creating during that time. And um, uh, working with my clients a lot, we really start off and really start to shift the perspective and the energy frequency around masturbation to really have it as part of a spiritual ritual experience, which it is. I mean, the the tantric philosophy is really everything is a spiritual experience. Everything is a sacred experience. And um, our sexual life, our sexual energy, our sexual experience, our sexual play is no different. And so then with, of course, a partner, um, you can utilize and connect together. And really a lot where the Tantra um, comes in, this is where a lot of the, the orgasmic manifestation and all of this comes from is really from a Tantric philosophy. And uh, it's really the masculine energy, whether the the gender is male or female, it doesn't really matter. It can take on the masculine energy, which is the container, the, the sacred space for the feminine energy to flow through, which is the flow, which is the sensuality and the sexuality. Um, and again, it doesn't matter what gender you are, you can inhabit both masculine and feminine energies. Um, and, and so with a partner, you can really communicate and connect with your partner and say, I really want to experience this. I want to utilize our connection as an experience for us to truly align connect and manifest some serious awesomeness for this world that we are living in together um and so you can have that intention going into your sexual experience with your partner and again you can have that intention going into your sexual experience with yourself and <clears throat> It's really all about the focus. It's about understanding getting into a meditative state as you are in pleasure and it takes practice but um you know, uh, going into that phase, utilizing the energy as you are coming into peak, whether you're with your partner or yourself, you are really focusing the uh, chakra centers, right? You're focusing on the chakra centers. They're all lighting up. Everything is lighting up within yourself. The energy is starting to swirl within. And as you are really, you're really in this meditative state, even though you are in a moving meditative state, your mind, your spirit is everything is moving through into your third eye, right? You're moving up into your higher chakra centers, even up into your eighth, your ninth, your 10th. You don't even realize that you're moving up into these higher chakra centers um, just because of the sexual energy that is being heightened within you. Um, and so as you're going through, as you're getting closer and closer and closer to your peak, you are able to really build up this fire, build up the energy behind it, build up the visualization. You are visualizing what it is that you want. You are visualizing yourself experiencing it, visualizing yourself having it, visualizing yourself in the beingness of it. And then as you get to peak, you solidify you confirm you ground that energy into you it shoots through your third eye and back down and through your root chakra and you ground all of that energy and all of that visualization and all of that manifestation through that orgasmic energy through your chakra centers all the way down into this 3d world and it's really, truly a magical, magical experience. I mean, and, and you can even do it even without your partner knowing. If your partner isn't really into that stuff, you can still utilize it and go in with an intention of connecting with your partner wholly, authentically, having a fully trusting and surrendering experience with your partner, which is ultimately the outcome of you trusting and surrendering the manifestation and the goals and everything that you want ultimately to the universe, ultimately to your higher self, ultimately to the alignment of source energy that runs through you. And that is the pa the magic and the power of orgasmic manifestation. That is really how you can utilize it to really shift and heal. You can utilize it as alchemy for manifesting or you can utilize it as the alchemy for healing. You can transmute the shame into the healing light force. It's really such an amazing, amazing, amazing gift that we have been given and as women especially right now in this time and space this is the time to really tap into that alchemy really understand that you are 
the empress. You are the high priestess. You are the the magician of ecstasy. And ecstasy isn't always aligned with sex. It's the feeling, right? It's that that orgasmic feeling, that ecstasy feeling. And you can have that from a state of happiness, pure joy. You can have that as a base vibration running through you as the base joy vibration. That is what it is. And realizing that you have a reservoir of it's it's so much there's a river and a lake and an ocean and it's just it's constantly swirling around and around and flowing and flowing and flowing and that is the magic that you can tap into to really 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 create this amazing life that you are here to create so I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your experiences. I'd love to hear what has held you back from really tapping into your sexual energy. What has held you back from exploring your sexual fantasies? What has held you back from really speaking your authentic truth with your partner and allowing both of yourselves to really just fully trust and surrender to each other the authenticity of your sexual energy? I'd really love to know all that. So head over to Rising Goddess Radio, the Rising Goddess, Michelle Torrance, the Rising Goddess Facebook page over on Facebook. Head over to Instagram at the Rising Goddess underscore. Head over to the Rising Goddess Facebook group. Join the group and let's talk about this. Tell me your answers. What has held you back? What makes you afraid? What are the thoughts that run through your mind? And if you have been at this phase of rising in your experience, right? You're growing, you're, you're in this awareness shift. You're starting to understand and tap into this, this magic that you have your, you, you realize that you have magic within. You're just not quite sure where, what, how, then let's talk. This is what my master, the rising self three month transformational quantum leak growth package is. I can put all of these different titles and words on it, but basically you are going to rise exponentially within your entire existence in this world when you choose to work with me in that program. Um, it's amazing. So head over to Facebook, head over to Instagram, come follow, make sure you're downloading, rate and review. I'd love to hear your comments. Let me know if you love me, you hate me, you want more, you want less, blow me kisses, blow me some other things, I don't care, but let me know um, that you love me in any way, shape or form and I will constantly let you know that I love you in every way, shape or form. Thank you for listening and I will catch you on the next episode. Later. Hello, my rising humans, and thank you so much for listening to this episode of Rising Goddess Radio. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I just wanted to come on here and say thank you. I'm grateful for your energy and your time. And if you haven't already, head on over to iTunes, download Rising Goddess Radio, rate and review us. And this allows us to go ahead and keep going in and sharing the value, the benefits, and all the amazing teachings that Rising Goddess Radio offers to so many more people. And if you haven't yet, head on over to Facebook, to the Rising Goddess group, come and join our group. We're having a we have a wonderful community. We talk, we share things, we dive deep, and we have so much fun. So I'm so excited to catch you on the next episode. Have a fantastic, amazing, magical day. Later.